Good evening. My name is Robinson Davies. The appeal of Dracula, and it's no use pretending that it's a melodramatic theme because it is the theme of much of the world's greatest literature, is the struggle of good against evil. What the terrible Count Dracula represents is the devil who drains us of life, whether by sucking blood or some other form of vitality. The devil's been a popular character on the stage since the Middle Ages. Dracula was originally a novel which appeared in 1894, but it was suffused with the spirit of the theatre because the writer, Bram Stoker, was for many years the business manager and personal associate of Sir Henry Irving, the greatest of macabre actors. There have been 16 Dracula films, but I think we may properly claim it as a stage conception. And what you are about to see is faithful to the original Dracula. The estate is called Carfax, and the house is very large, and of all periods, back, I should say, to medieval times. Of course, it would require a complete renovating of the interior. But that is exactly what I want, yes. to begin anew in England, yes. to renovate body and soul and environment. Yes. I shall sign the papers then. It need only be a rental with an option to buy, of course, until you see it for yourself. My dear young Englishman, you have completed a long journey this night. You have supped, and I see that Morpheus veils your eyes. <laughs> or your delicious Transylvanian brandy. <laughs> <laughs> I trust your judgment on my behalf. And thus, we complete our business. And you can look forward to your... Uh, what is the name in English? Commissions. <laughs> and so, your stay shall be free of commercial considerations. Thank you. And you can tell me of my dear new country, England, as I prepare for my journey. Clumsy of me. I must say those wolves sound nearby. The coachman pointed out one that was following us in the dark. It gave me quite a turn. Damn! I not only broke your snifter, but now I'm going to bleed on your furniture if I don't watch out. When he goes, <laughs> oh, we shall be well rid of you. No, no, no!
kisses for both of us. shall have kisses for both of us. I trust you slept well, Mr. Harker. Why can't I see you in the mirror? I must ask you to remain in your room. He won't notice. There's something for you in the sack downstairs. Another beggar, a crown, or more carrion? Go! to say farewell, Mr. Harker. It is unfortunate that your stay at Castle Dracula has had certain conflicts. However, I'm certain that we shall meet again on more friendly terms. In a few minutes, I shall be leaving for England. <laughs> <laughs>
destiny has willed. <laughs> Did you write letters that he will post so you can stay with us forever? You mustn't resist. Surrender will be sweet. There's much blood left. <laughs> <laughs> was given a sleeping draft and put to bed, Mr. Harker. You will now talk to us. I have been abroad. And I found my way from the far mountains. I climbed down a great wall. Yes. I fell. A wound of honor. I can move these fingers only with pain. Small price, though, for my escape. From what? Why, the Furies, of course. Mr. Harker, you will mark me well. Look, I pity and pray for your soul. But I'm afraid something dreadful has happened to you. You are helpless in the grip of a cruel fate, but you are nonetheless the mortal enemy of your wife. And of us all. Mr. Harker, I do believe that you are one of the undead. Yeah. A vampire that flourishes and fattens on the blood of the living. An immortal creature that can appear as a wolf or a bat, a smoke, phosphorescent dust. But you must sleep in the coffin in the daytime, and that coffin must contain your native earth. And our only protection against you is the garlic, the holy crosses of vapor. And you can only be dispatched to eternity with a stake through the heart. You, you, you have fattened on the blood of poor dead Lucy and made her one of you. And now you have both drawn me with your hypnotic powers, but you shall not have her. You no. shall not have her. You, you know. How, how do you know? There's no escape, Parker, no escape. You too. No escape. I looked in at the window. It looked so safe from evil. My God, it is not him. I will forget, I said. I will go home. But I can't go home, can I? Forgive me, poor man, forgive me. Evil is at home. Evil is everywhere. Lucy, you say? Dear Lucy. And now Mina. Oh, he is terrible and powerful. Who, who? He who I left England to visit, to negotiate the sale of Carfax. Carfax adjoins this property. The Count Dracula. Mina, she's alone. I thought Harker was our nemesis, so I leave our lady alone. If we cannot save her, it will be on my hands. Tonight is no different. Jonathan, perhaps you should go back. I would give my life to help you in this. Harker, come. You are the strongest of us all. Come, 
you have escaped from a terrible fate and so shall your beloved Mina. Come, 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 come. Take her home, Harker. Soon and I will do what now has to be done. It is beginning to dawn in the east, and the terrible thing that Lucy has become must be in the coffin before light. And thus we can release her immortal soul. This is a dream. A strange dream. Go. No. Yes, my darling. Come. Now, you must read your prayer for the dead, the woman you loved. Requiem maternum in dona is, domine lux perpetua luce is, absolve domino. Is it him? Is he dead now? Jemina, who need war? But he will be. He will be. Doctors Freud and Bauer, excuse me, Mr. Harker. It is not only. The likes of the Count Dracula, which has the power is mesmerization. Mina, your mind shall be freed to wander as his, to roam at large, to encounter he who has branded you. For has he not branded your forehead? Has he not put your soul in jeopardy? But I shall not need a soul when I have eternal life. Does he say that? He thinks it. He thinks it now? Yes. Yes. He is saying, 
to have a cunning more than mortal, to be like him, who commanded, commanded nations, nations hundreds, hundreds of years, of years ago, ago to be, be his best, best beloved one. one. Flesh, flesh of my of his flesh, flesh. Blood, blood of my of blood. His blood. Kin, kin of my of kin. His kin. From whom I drink for a while, till she know that puny spasm they call death. And then we reign together down the immortal ages. Yes, I have heard of you. You were once a most illustrious nobleman, a man of learning and intelligence, but now uh, you must obey certain laws that must seem onerous to lie in the earth, in a lone place. Uh, defenseless when found at the mercy of a stake. <laughs> Puny mortals! Do you think you could make my master reveal his whereabouts by trickery? He is worth a hundred of you. I will have done with this. I will have done! Hold, 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 hold up. Sleep! He's stronger than I thought. Very well, the game's afoot. We must keep a vigil. We must patiently keep a prisoner until just before dawn. And then? And then we must let her go to him. Is he the fog as well? I have no doubt, but the garlic keeps him at bay. My master calls. Soon, soon you shall go to him. Patience, patience. Ah, oh, it is an hour to dawn. If we take her to him now, it will have to be near the place where he rests this day. Good. Mina? Mina? He's had no blood this night. He's weak and weary. But I am strong. My master. I do not weaken for lack of blood. Is my voice not stronger than his? He is cold in the snow. Wait. Good. Now take us to this weaker voice. Show us this other place. There must be other coffins nearby. 
So it. The host. Yeah. Good. Mamina, you must tell me where he is. Repay a debt. Your hospitality those many months ago robbed me of most of my memory. I remembered I'd seen the entrance to the tunnel when I looked over the property preparatory to selling it to you. Regardless of all, remember we are releasing a human soul from torment. Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, you must in your master's extremity pity his peril. Canst thou, Jonathan, who has known my kiss, now bring to an end he who has lived for a thousand years? Knowest thou not that thou art my children, my Jonathan, my Mina? Shall my children not succor and nourish me? as I would them. Shall they turn their faces from their own blood? Knowest thou not, my dears, that the blood that shall spurt at the stake is ours. Ours. We could live Ten thousand years, my darling. Do what they do it. Never, 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 never. My sister, my bride, flesh of my flesh, kin of my kin, my best beloved one. Come to me, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> It had to be one of 
us, Jonathan. You or me. Mina, it's gone. The burn of the crucifix. 